Masha is awesome. Hello everyone, it is Blue Cards Ever here, and today is the second part of the float bicing video. Oh my god, I almost forgot. That's really bad. That's so so bad. I keep forgetting. But the thing is, is that I just keep going back and forth with these basic videos. Like at first I did lights out, and then I did float. I did lights out again, and then I did float. It's kind of a little bit, a little bit hard to keep track of. But we're here again, just like the last video. This is literally what happens since the last part of the float basing video. There's probably about three seconds in between this video and the last video. So once again, you're not missing much. Thanks to me. <clears throat> so, what do we got going on here? We're still doing our little raid here. Although, I like to consider more PKing because a lot of us seem to be doing some really good PKing here. If you notice that there's some cuts in the video, it's maybe because I have a friend who doesn't want to uh, have a messages shown on screen, so I figured why not? Put my skills to the test, and I'm, turns out I'm not all that rusty. Yeah, but this girl, her name's like Bonnie or something like that. She she did really well this time. Yeah, uh, Al, Al Capone, sorry about that. I didn't have you as a friend, so you didn't get the reply, but I yes, it is Blue Cart. He probably doesn't even watch these videos, but if he does, hi. And apologies for yesterday. This was yesterday, right? <laughs> I think it was. Yeah, probably was. August 19th, yeah, it definitely was. <coughs> Alright, so what can I talk about this time? Well, usually when you're down a long corridor, one thing you would like to do is sometimes keeping the distance between you and your enemy is definitely a good thing. Especially if your weapon hands on the right side. Right, meaning it's the ideal position you want to be. Like, for example, the Branding Automatic Rifle, if you're looking up, I believe it shoots left? Yes, it shoots on the left side. <clears throat> so, they're standing on the right side, well, they actually might have like an equally fair chance of hitting you just as much as you can hit them. But if you step back a little bit, kind of widen the gap between them, um, there's a chance the spread of your bullet might actually end up hitting them. Of course, you'd have to get lucky, but you never know. Perhaps Lady Luck is with you and not giving you the finger, unlike me on, on most occasions. I didn't even realize that uh, Louis put down the hot bomb. I should have really used that. <laughs> I just caught that in this video. Alright, so there, there, there you go. This is the uh, girl with the chemical gun. Um, oddly enough, I found this to be rather unusual because that jelly bean girl the one with the chemical gun. I actually was working with her, with her own gang. Well, I guess she takes part of that gang. Takes some ownership, at least. Um, I was helping her against mankind two days ago. Alright, and this is the part where we get the base. So, well done. Alright, so it seems to be only five of us. I'm pretty sure there's more. Yeah, there's more. I see six here. Yeah, for six people, that's not too bad. Like, really, sometimes, like, when it comes to basing nowadays, all you really need is a small group of people and branding one second rifles, and you've almost got this. At least for a good PK. You know, way back in the day, you could use the same amount of people with M4s, and you'd still be just as successful. Unfortunately, that's really not too much of the case. Now you need browning automatic rifles. Hell, you know what? I take back what I said. You don't need six people. You need an uh, entire flocking army of 20. Ah, because now there's chemical guns and gas launchers and all different sorts of event coin items that give you such an edge in, in basing with the point where it's just ridiculous. I mean, should I be complaining? No, not really, because I found numerous tactics to 
uh, counteract against them. And hell, I almost assure you, if I had a chemical gun for myself, I would not be complaining. Now it also brings me to the point, do I want a chemical gun? No. Why? Too much work. <laughs> I would, wouldn't be able to get that anyways. Unfortunately, we lose it to PvP, and of course, Lady Luck gave me the finger once again, and decided that I should stay alive so I can die. Oh man, that was a really close one. <laughs> yeah, for some reason, if you try to heal on the couch, you can't. I don't know what's up with that, but I tried to use burgers down there, and it didn't work. Okay, you see, this guy right here, the one who's asking about the skin... The skin. <laughs> that annoyed me. <laughs> Because now him and that other guy with the white hair is both going to ask the same thing. See? Well, okay, it's not exactly the same thing, it's not verbatim, but it is quite similar. But the point is, they're both distracted. <sighs> Alright, this video in length is just about 9 minutes, I think. Yeah. Just about 9 minutes. Alright, so this one's rather short, but I should be uploading part 3 on the same day. Because part 3, I believe, is around maybe 16, 14 minutes? It's a bit longer than that. And he goes asking me again. <laughs> Just really one time. Oh wait, the video's about to end. Oh crap. Okay, so I'll tell my story in the next video. Right, so finishing up strong. Well I actually think I'm gonna die in this next part, but go down a blaze of glory, watch this. Ooh, nice. <laughs> I should have used a homeless wood shield, but I wasn't thinking. Nice, not bad. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, the introduction was made by Roland Santos, and the associated gang was Float, which was led by Louie. I also want you guys to check out the following game, Region, led by Player. I'm not kidding, his, his name is Player. It's actually happening again. I'm so mad. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to leave this song in for today just because it sounds so goddamn awesome. <laughs> Alright, take care, guys.